Hey, welcome to the NME Awards 2017. Nice to be here, thanks for inviting me. Here to chat with the Pet Shop Boys. Here to chat with the Pet Shop Present the Pet Shop Boys. Yeah, yeah also my book won an award I believe, otherwise I'm taking off. <laughs> You're only here to win? Yeah. Um, so what do you think it is about the Pet Shop Boys that sets them apart and makes them godlike? Well, I mean, aside from 30 years of hits and hits and hits and 50 million records, hmm, don't know. That'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and so yeah, your own book, How does it, did it feel um, cathartic to really get that on the page and get it out there? Yeah, I think so, yeah, it's nice to, um, yeah, it's nice to get all the old stories out and uh, some stuff was fun to relive and some stuff was a bit of a task but, um, and it was a lot of work, but I don't know whether cathartic is the word, I keep waiting for catharsis, maybe I don't need, need it, but it's pretty gratifying to have it out there, yeah. Was it a stage where like no stone was left unturned? Did you have to challenge yourself to really present everything? Yeah, I thought about it for a couple of years before doing it. Yeah, and um, locked myself away for five or six hours, sometimes longer, most most days, and got on with it. And yeah, I don't think there's any stones unturned. I think now that I know it's been out for a while, when stuff's occurred to me that could be in there, it, it's already in there. So there's nothing I've that I've remembered since doing it. That I thought, I wish that I'd put that in. And how does it feel? Because obviously people would have spent the last 30 years pouring over your songs and your lyrics looking for clues, whereas now it's just all there. Do you feel exposed? Or? Do you know, before it came out, I did. Yeah, I did feel exposed. And um, I was out one night with Damon Arban, actually, and, and I, I said that very thing to him, and he said, well, that means that it's good. So uh, he's a smart fella, so I think that's probably right. Yeah, I did feel kind of exposed before it came out, and I think it does mean it's good. And um, but now, hopefully, I won't have to an answer the same questions I've been asked for 30 years. You know, so it's good. Yeah. And you're still active, incredibly prolific. Oh, yeah. Do you see the need for a second volume later down the line? You never know. Depends what happens over the next 30 years. Pro yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, that's a nice thought. I mean, I'm getting back to my day job now. That's the thing of um, writing, writing a new record and uh, just and playing and all that. So uh, I'm, I'm not kind of getting too far ahead of myself, really. But yeah, maybe, you know, I might do it again. 